Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna be covering a quick tip, several tips on how to weld galvanized, okay? Okay. This is a piece of grating. You're familiar with it for walkways and whatever. It's galvanized and it sucks to weld. You know, you gotta weld it sometimes, you gotta weld it down, you gotta, you cannot get a grinder in here. You know what I'm saying? You're not gonna be able to grind everything. We're gonna cover that, but, if you can grind it. I had somebody reach out to me and say, hey, I'm having trouble welding galvanized. I said, well, you need to grind the crap out of it first. No, 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 I'm, I'm, I am grinding it. Well, you might not be grinding it right. I'm gonna show you how to grind it, what to grind it with, and how to weld it when you can't get to it to grind it. Oh, one more tip. See this battery that's on this Bosch grinder? That's straight from China off of eBay. Do not do that. You can think about it, but don't do it because it sucks too. I mean, it's these batteries, I've used them for about two, three months and all of them are dead and they won't run my stuff anymore. So that's all for that. <clears throat> now back to how to grind galvanized to weld it. Some of you might not know this. Let me get you up here close. Okay, here's our little pieces of grating. They're covered in galvanized and it's, it's bad, it's not as bad as I've seen. I'll tell you at the end of the video about my first welding job. It was weld, welding for the iron workers, but I'm gonna grind this with the tiger paw. So for this side, we'll use the tiger paw. That got it off there pretty good, but I want you to notice what happens when we use a grinding disc. Don't forget that stuff on the bottom because we're going to be welding with a MIG gun on this one. So we got our side we did with a, a grinding disc. We've got a side we did with our Tiger Paw. See it's smearing all over the place. I'll be on the disc too. See how dirty that side is? That's the side we did with the tiger paw. This is the side we did with the grinding disc. Now, in order to show you what a 6010 does on galvanized, I gotta take you out here by my pole barn I'm building. And I've never seen one built quite like this. See, it's all crooked. <laughs> uh, I built it on the ground and I'm picking it up with a tractor like that. That way, me and Jose don't have to get on top of it and try to weld it. I mean, well weld it and put the tin on too. So I'm fixing to weld this with a 6010, and that is exactly what I would use if I had to pick anything to weld galvanize with, it would be 6010. I'm not gonna grind it, but it would weld better if I did. But most of the time when you're welding great and you can't get in there to grind it. I got a lot of heat on my welding video I did with how to weld paint with a 7018 and everybody said you should grind it not be lazy do it right sometimes you cannot get to it with a grinder 
And you got to do whatever's necessary. All right. See that white stuff cooking off there? That will make you sick. Don't breathe that stuff. Okay. This is the one I did without grinding it. You see how it's, it's just kind of all over the place because that, that galvanize is thicker in some places and it makes the, the puddle walk around. But the one I, and, and, and when you rebind, it works. But the one I grinded is way better. It's still not perfect, but it's a whole lot better. And if you put one more pass on this, it'd really look good. But that's just one pass and done. And as far as our MIG gun, that's the grinded side, and that's the not grinded side. And if you'll notice, well, it was grinded with a tiger paw. You'll notice how it's got some undertow, and this side doesn't. That's because there's a little film of galvanized left over from that tiger paw. So, hope that helps you guys. All right, guys, the story about me getting galvan poison. If you breathe that white stuff, it will make you sick as a dog. And how I can explain it was I couldn't get a breath. I could breathe about just a little bit and I would start coughing. I was miserable. And then I went back to work the next day and I got it even worse. Do not breathe that stuff. When it comes to breathing this stuff all together, I noticed uh, Melting Metal Anthony, he wears a mask a lot. And I wish I would have done a little bit more of that. My sinuses are wrecked um, from welding on stuff for so long. But that's it, guys. I hope you learned something. Uh, do not breathe this stuff. Uh, do whatever it takes. You can stay away from a lot of it. That heat will carry it up, and you can kind of get, get away from it and let it, let it go up. Um, wear a respirator when you can. Grind it until it makes sparks. Good clean sparks and then uh, you're ready and you'll feel it when you get through it it'll be kind of slimy and then you'll start feeling it eat and that's when you know you're there have an awesome awesome day later